Hello and welcome to Ed Mac Design's first YouTube tutorial regarding Cinema 4D. Um, for the first tutorial, we're going to go through lighting, basic lighting. Uh, most people will just add a few lights and hope for the best, but I'm hopefully going to show you a few techniques which will make it look a bit better. Um, I've done my basic scene. As you can see, I've got floor, text, two lights. Um, you can see the two lights are obscurely uh, positioned for uh, showing you different shadows and stuff. Um, right, I have two lights, one to the left, one to the right, as you can see. Uh, they're both just standard Omni lights. I render, it's just going to give off light in all directions. Um, that's what Omni means. It's a light that gives off light in all directions. Um, so rather than having a spotlight which gives off light, in one designated area, an omni light will fill up the entire space. Um, by default, there's no shadows with the lights. Um, you can add shadows just by here, just by simply going underneath type, and then you have shadow, and you have three. You have soft, um, ray traced, hard, and area. Now, soft maps, um, shadow maps, soft, just give you a soft shadow. Um, as you can see in the text, it's just giving a nice soft shadow. Um, but sometimes you don't want that. Perhaps you prefer. Um, a ray trace shadow. Now, a ray trace shadow is very computerized. It 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 looks as if it's been made on a program like this. Um, so as you can see now, it's 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 very tough, and the uh, shadow is uh, is very hard. Now there is one more, and it's called area. Now with area, you do get a little box, which you can rotate, scale, move, size. Now, if you add area lights, it does add a bit of time to the rendering process, but it does add a much more natural shadow to the objects. If we render now, you'll see that the render time has increased, but the overall shadows look better. Rather than all being the same density, they do get lighter as the, the distance passes. If I add this to the right light as well, I rotate that down, I render again. You can see now that instantly the text looks a lot more realistic. Better lighting makes all the difference. Um, we can change the colour of our lights just by simply taking the colour panel. Now, if you want more of a red light, don't just simply go to red because it'll just look awful. You want very, very subtle changes. So as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty close to white. But if I press OK and I re-render, you'll instantly see that's given off a nice soft red light. Um, but if I choose this light, just for example, and put that full blown red, and now render it, you'll see that it's given off too much red, if anything. Um, it still looks kind of, kind of different, but again, unnatural and unrealistic. Um, when it comes to shadows, uh, Shadows should be added to most light dumbs just to give it more of a natural look, more realistic look. Um, but you also have a shadow panel over here, which you can tick if shadows are enabled, obviously. And uh, you can change the color of your shadow. So again, we'll try something a bit different. We'll go for like a yellow shadow, just uh, so it stands out. Um, the accuracy. Now, it's a 75% accuracy. So what is what Cinema 4D is, is doing is it's going to make the shadows as accurate as 75%. It won't go above it, it won't go below it. So if we render now with our yellow shadows, it's not giving off yellow shadows. But again, yes, it, 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 it might look kind of nice, kind of cool, something different. But why why would a red light to give off a yellow shadow? Colouring your shadows isn't really needed. It's, 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 it's not really necessary. Um, you should always stick these to almost black. I very rarely use 100% black because there's very little things that are 100% black. Um, so yeah, that's just your, your very basic light setup. Um, you should always select Omni lights. If you come here, you should see light, spotlight, area light, infinite light. Doesn't matter which one of these you select, if you come into it and come back to your general, it's, this, it's all Cinema 4D is doing, it's selecting one of these. So if you just select Omni Light by default, you can change it yourself. Like, I just selected an area light, but now I've got a, a spotlight. Um, so yeah, if you just select Omni Light, it'll save you a bit of time. 
uh, soft shadow maps at a, a very nice realistic shadow if, but if you're looking for proper shadows simply add an area shadow uh, again with the colouring of the lights don't go too much just very subtle differences and uh, that should help you create more better lighting in your scenes more realistic lighting with the shadows and I hope it's helped a little bit